Hey howdy folks, Rizlov here for part 3 of the Pathotic Restoration. And last we left off, we had finally gotten, well, most of Wales. Technically One Piece got sniped from out underneath us by an uh, English vassal, but uh, we'll be sorting that out in this episode. I'd also like to see if we could, maybe, in uh, the turmoil that is England, get Cornwall from them. So let's jump right on in and get right to it. And we are in to this lovely and cursed timeline. <laughs> I mean, just look at this border gore. It's mwah, beautiful. So, let's sort out. Because we had just recently passed away our lovely King Conan, leaving Patrick on the throne. We have two kids to sort out. Now, do we have partition yet? No. We will soon, though. How weak is England? Quite weak. So here's what we could do. Technically, we are allied with them in two wars. We could just wait for them to lose them, and then while they're still weak, swipe in and go for that one piece. Which I might very well do. I'll consider it. Either way, if we were to die right now, our second son would get Wales, and I don't want that. We need to get partition. And our wife is currently pregnant. And if she has another son, that's another wrench in our gears. Which I really don't need. So, let's hope that doesn't happen. And let's also hope that these English Civil Wars end already. I mean, most of the last episode was just Civil War Central. And I'd really like for them to be over. Alright. Looks like one of the wars will be over soon with the... Ah, that's a secession war. Prince William, that's right. And it was another son. Oh? Well, I know what to name our future king of all of England. Looks like it'll be this. But, you know what? You can have that name. It's a cool name. And let's sort ourselves out an alliance, shall we? <laughs> can marry a 25-year-old. I'm not that desperate. Let's go with a 6-year-old for 4,000 troops. That sounds nice. Because Tuscany is also basically all of the Benelux, except for Holland. Ah, the Normans want independence as well. Forgot about that. Hey, anything to weaken the English? Fine by me. Gonna start fabricating claims in Cornwall. Just so that once this war in England is over, I can pop on it as soon as possible. Okay, the Normans are about to have independence anyway. Watch this. <sighs> and then my sterile daughter goes and interrupts me. Come on, Normandy. Get your independence. There you go. Good for you. Come on, Northumbria. You can do it. And my wife's pregnant. It's gonna be another son. I'm, I can feel it in my Bones, that's another son. Oh my god, please, just win that win that siege, win that siege. They have to win this fight. Come on. Because apparently they have... Z fucking this. How do they have zero points? Oh my god. Because they have negative 100 and positive... <laughs> They've occupied equal amounts... They've occupied the maximum amount of each other's counties, as you can see from this. Negative 100 and positive 100. So it's only war score that matters. So if they win this, which they will, then it's done. Finally. There we go. <laughs> that was the most dragged out civil war. Uh, yeah, Agnes is fine. Damn. Finally. Here we go. William, I hope that was worth it. You're going to be king for like six years. And I'm invading you. Let's see. What's the cheapest way to invade you? Looks like it's a claim war. Yeah. Boom. Alright, it's calling the allies to fuck you up. Such as France and Tuscany. Okay, let's go conquer our province. Who shall lead my troops? 
Ah, Weicho, who's been leading my troops since like episode one. He's like 60. All right, English dogs. Wales shall be free once again. All right, so we've got partition researched. Can I change it though? No, because this one random fucking mayor in Wales has to be bribed. Here we go. And I need prestige. Fantastic. Now what shall we research now that we've gotten hereditary rule? Let's go bailiffs, because I seriously need some more domain. Seven out of four is a big old yikes. But I want to hold all of Brittany myself. <laughs> Classic rivalry. France. The Dutch French versus England. <laughs> the English Normandy. I like this a lot. Oh, we got another civil war! <laughs> okay, who's claim now? Felicia? Oh god, that's gonna put... If she gets it, then her fucking Irish dynasty is gonna be on the throne. That's cursed. Oh, did Wiko die? Damn. I need a new siege general. Looks like Edward's what I got. How long until William dies? If I can finish this war before he dies, and I can... That means my truce won't last that long. Finally, we've got all the whales. Let's have a feast to celebrate uniting all of Wales and Brittany. Beautiful. <laughs> As England goes through another civil war. And f whoa, I just noticed Scotland. What's going on here? Duke Malcolm. Ah, the son. Oh, the grandson of Canmore. So the Gales got on the throne, but now the Scots want to be put back on. It's unfortunate. And let's create the Duchy of Powys, as we will be giving it to our third son, Arthur. There you go. And of course, you know me. I've got to take that high crown authority. And now we just wait for William to die so that we can invade Cornwall. Okay, got ourselves Cornwall. Can I get Devon? Yikes. Okay, what's this? France wants my help in a civil war. Do I actually want to help them? Fine. Because I actually do want them as an ally. Typical French, relying on the Bretons to help them out. What weaklings. We gotta do the heavy lifting around here. Okay, I keep forgetting she's scaly. She reminds me of a ghoul from Fallout. Which I, I suppose I shouldn't be saying such things about a friend. But, uh, you know, it's just good fun. You know, she calls me smooth skin, I call her zombie. You know, just casual things to say to a friend. God damn, France, you're just as bad as fucking England. And the Carlings are still kicking around. Holy shit, France! Alright. I don't know if I can help you with this one. And there's Orthodox. Christ. This might be a little bit of out of my wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, France. I tried. You're on your own. I mean, that's all I can really be asked. Is that you try. So I just noticed that I have a claim to all of Normandy, and like, <laughs> um, well, 
that's not technically part of this campaign, but there's such an appetizing target that I just might as well go for it, you know? So I'm gonna go for it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, but I do. So yeah, I'm going for it. And I think I can take them on my own, so I will. Edward, my siege general is going straight for their capital. And they decided to pull a sneaky on me. They're going for my capital. But I think I can win the siege war. And you know what? I'll call in Tuscany as well, just to be safe. Come on, Tuscany, be a bro. Thanks, Tuscany. <laughs> as I'm attacking Normandy, they decided to attack England because they have a claim on it. So yeah, that's happening. This is a great game. It's just fucking overlapping wars. Basically, everyone in this region is at war with each other. Oh, and before I forget, let's change it to partition. Boom. And we capture his damn daughter. Fantastic. Now let's go fuck him up. Or her up. Because it's a duchess. And right, let's go siege our shit back. <laughs> she ran away from me and then hit England's army. Out of the fucking frying pan into the fire. Classic. And Tuscany's here with 5,000 troops. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the? <laughs> Wait a minute. Two, four, six, eight. Nine dukedoms. This character holds nine duchies. Nine duchies. That is a mega vassal. Like, no wonder it fought for independence. That, that's, that's a king at that point. Like, damn. You should found your own kingdom, Tuscany. Nine fucking duchies on one character. Alright, that's some yucky borders, I admit. But hey. Um, I don't care. <laughs> and Robert's back on the throne in England. Fantastic. Now I fought for the throne of Normandy, but I don't actually want it, because if I keep it, then um, it'll, I'll lose it when secession happens. So I'm going to give it to some random Norman vassal, this guy, and feel free. Enjoy it, Duke Humpert. And now that Duke Robert's back on the throne, hey, that's a, that's an invasion right there. That truce is over. 700 troops. My good sir, you're getting invaded. And uh, Tuscany, you feel like helping me out? Actually, no, I don't need you. This guy's got 700 troops. What am I talking about? <laughs> and his, his fucking, his uh, capital's right on my border. If I could capture him in this siege, just get a quick war over, that'd be nice. I don't think it'll be that easy, but hey, you can hope. Well, we got his fucking sister. She's also the heir, it seems. Which, hey, that's 50% war score. Which I'm fine with. I'm cool with that. Now let's go and pillage the countryside, shall we? Oh, he's having a civil war. Two of them, it seems. Mm. Let's see. For this person. Alright. And... Ulster's invading. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> God. England is cursed in this timeline. You know, it's, it is to my benefit that England is so cursed. Because otherwise, they wouldn't be such an easy target. 
Just work my way down to Cornwall. Okay, we've almost got to Cornwall. We've almost got to Cornwall, which means we've almost freed the last remnants of Rathonic people on the British Isles. After we free the Cornish, we'll move on to the Cumbrians. Which should be Scotland. So it's an even, that's an even easier target than the English. Hell, I might even start attacking them in the midst of bouncing between England. Oh, what the fuck? They're attacking. Damn it. Their civil war decided to siege down my territory. Because fuck me, I guess. Well, looks like Humbert did not last long on his throne. Alright, at least we can get actual Cornwall. Hopefully. In, in the meantime, we found their army and we're going to smack it. God damn it, their civil war is going to siege their capital back. That's my war score, civil war, not yours. Damn it! <laughs> And now I'm up against... <laughs> Wouldn't you believe it? The person we stole Normandy from... <laughs> actually won her uh, claim for England. So now we're up against her. Which means I will actually need... Tuscany, you mind helping out? This game can be a mess sometimes. Let's see, who inherits after Mahout? Alright, at least she's English. An English person on the throne. No more Normans. I'm actually taking her husband's title, though. <laughs> I actually have an alliance with the king I was just invading. How about that? Alright, let's go siege the capital. Because their capital is now in Normandy. So the Norman king's throne was in England, but the English queen's throne is in Normandy. Totally makes sense. Got it. I follow it. Totally makes sense. I got it. There's a civil war to put her back on the throne in Normandy. Isn't there? Which means if that wins, she's going to get Normandy back. Which means that war is for nothing. That's fantastic. Like I said, everyone's at war with everyone. It's a mess. Hopefully Tuscany can help me out here. And, and Ireland owns part of England now. What has this world come to? Now, while that's going on, I've already got my claims in Cornwall. I'm going to start fabricating in Scotland. More specifically, Cumberland. Because that is part of our culture group. It's Bithonic. We're freeing the Brythonics. Fine. Oh, we captured her. Boom. Done. Now we just have to hope she doesn't win her fucking war to get Normandy back, which I doubt. You know, she's going to win it. But hey. Sometimes you just gotta accept shit like that. Oh, what the fuck happened here? Oh, well, Bohemia decided to uh, get absorbed. Now, I need to pump out some prestige. Mostly because I actually need to destroy the title of Wales. Because if I don't, uh, when I die, it'll create... Oh, fuck, I just noticed that my son is fucking maimed. Oh, shit. Not good. All right. Which means I'm more than likely to be playing as Hestron. Okay, I can work with that. Be, be educated. That's unfortunate. Must have been a knight or leading one of my fucking armies. I didn't notice. Damn. His death will, uh... That's gonna upset some, uh, secession. I have to keep that in mind. Alright, now let's find some people to give Cornwall out to. 
I'm going to see if Hezdrin has another son. Because if he does, I can give Cornwall out to him. You know, preempting that Gavilkind secession a generation down. Because unfortunately, I may have to give up on my firstborn. Yep, and Normandy's gone already. <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. Where's Tuscany actually rule from? You know, them and their nine fucking duchies. What land is actually theirs? Oh, actual Tuscany. Gotcha. Ooh, I just noticed something. Uh, Norway has gone Adamite. Like, completely. Got some nudists up there. And another civil war in England. God, I need to keep, like, a counter. How many fucking civil wars there are. So, I'm wondering. Ireland is probably a weak target, and I could take them out. If you guys would like to see me also conquer Ireland, just let me know. Type it in a comment to say, hey, take those Irish guys out. You know, I could do it. And I'll do it. You know, I just need a little bit of pressure to say, Rizlov, invade Ireland. And that's all the justification I'd need. You know, I could just blame it on you fine commenters. Hey, they told me to do it. And I'd, I'd do it. I'd totally do it. Oh, and I'm sick. Fantastic. Come on, I don't need to die yet. Yet. I need... I can find a holy order. No. I need prestige. Ah, don't kill me. Fuck. Don't die. Good. Took my chances, and I survived. Good. Let's host a feast, can I? I can. Good. Need that prestige. And I got my claim in Scotland. Fantastic. Oh, and they're weak. We're taking them down. Let's raise up our troops. Okay. Let's call up... Let's call up Denmark. No, no. We gotta handle this ourselves. We don't want to lose our prestige. And Black 2... You're our sacrificial lamb. We want you to die. So go ahead. Go get them, buddy. Now let's just make sure they don't sneak around and siege us down. You know, as is my always terrified fear. And there you go. Sun dies. Let's see how bad that fucks up secession. Yep, shouldn't be too bad. Good. How I like it. And he's he's great. Fantastic. It sucks, because I was looking forward to playing as this one, but hey. Can't be playing as a maimed king. Now, he did have a granddaughter. Well, a daughter. My granddaughter. Can I get an alliance with that? I can get an English alliance. Fuck it. Kent's a solid alliance. And then let's put this one in command. Because I will not be leading from the front. I'm not that type of king. Some call me cowardly. I call myself practical. Do our monthly check-in. Make sure they're not sieging down our capital. Very important. It probably only happens like once out of every ten wars. But that's enough for me to be nervous. Uh, these are all, I love this event, because these are all good choices. So I have to decide, do I want to be zealous or brave? I like brave, even though zealous is pretty good. Brave is just better. Even though it does increase the likelihood of him dying in combat. Oh no no, oh no no, Scotland, you're not going anywhere. Come here. Come here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I got you now. 
Push him back. Oh shit, whoa, 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 what's that? No, 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 no. Okay. We're fine. Alright, we got Cumberland. Boom. I do wish that they would add in, like, give to a local ruler, like they had in CK2. And if you're not familiar with what that does, like you've only played CK3, in CK2 there was an option. It would be, like, around here, if it was CK3. And it would basically give it to a ruler that was your religion, but it was of the same culture as the county. That way you could give it to, like, local people, and it wouldn't have a high revolt risk that way. But instead, you got to find someone. And I don't know if I have any Cumbrian people. I'll check. Nope, I've only got Breton and Welsh. Which, I want a Cumbrian. So, hmm. I don't even have Cornish, which I need. To rule Cornwall. So my only hope is that I'll give it to a, a, a Welsh or Breton person and that they will personally convert. But that doesn't always happen. So you know what? I will give it. I'll give Cornwall to this one, Mirkian. There you go, you can have Cornwall. And then some random, this old guy, you can have Cumberland. Here we go delegated our new found lands. Now, has our truce expired with England? It has. Let's finish off Cornwall. Alright. So, let's invade England a second time. Finish off Cornwall, shall we? Hmm, looks like they've got a decent army. Probably allies, yeah? Yeah, Moonster. Alright. So, I'm going to play it safe. I want to destroy Wales first. The Kingdom of Wales as a title. So we're going to sit it out for a little bit. And then invade Cornwall. In the meantime, I'm going to fabricate a claim on Mon. I feel like adding that island to our collection would be a nice, nice stone to add. Oh. But I just got some more prestige. It might be a little bit sooner than I thought to invade Cornwall. <laughs> How the mighty fall. I just noticed that the Duke of Mercia is a, from the Godwin dynasty, but he's not an Anglo-Saxon. He's Norman. How the mighty fall. Damn. I love this game. Just for shit like that. Almost time to destroy Wales. My only fear here is that when I destroy it, uh, my kids are going to want another duchy. We're going to find out. How much did that screw over the secession? Place your bets in the comments now. Oh, it didn't. Fantastic. All right. Now, I think we need a little bit more prestige to declare our war. We do. Let's wait a few more months then. Ah, the Irish Catholics are pushing in. Good for them. I am really excited for the coming cultural rework, you know, in the upcoming Royal Court expansion. Mostly because it really didn't make sense how, as a Norman, you could invade Anglo-Saxon territory and become English. But as a Norwegian, you couldn't invade Anglo-Saxon territory and become some new hybrid. And then I heard that you could in the upcoming DLC. Hmm. Content, fickle, or trusting. I could give him content, but then I... Hmm. Usually when it comes to this, I like fickle. But if I give him that, I get stress to a critical level. How bad? Content isn't actually that bad. Like, it used to be pretty shit in CK2. Mostly because Ambitious was just great in CK2. I'll give him content. Fuck it. See how it turns out. I really don't want him to have any stewardship minuses, because you see how that's turning out right now. Six out of four. Alright, time to invade England. Cornwall, prepare to join my realm. And we can't ask Lotharingia or Denmark to join, because they're at war with each other. So, France, would you like to uh, help us out? Now that you've secured your throne. I know how much you hate the, the, uh, the English. And with good reason, I hate them too. They took my rightful lands. And they own your rightful Normandy. 
we're natural allies. Now let's go fuck them up. I just started humming that one song. Let me tell you about my best friend. Holy shit, England's a big boy now. Alright, France. I'm gonna need your help. France, hurry it up. Hurry it up. Okay, I'm not dead. That's good. Alright, well, France, I appreciate you hurrying it up. That's not even that's not even sarcasm. You actually put a fire under your ass and hurried it up. Which is more than can be said about most AI in this game. My daughter marries the king of Denmark. Good for her. Now my troops need to get on a boat and get the fuck out of here. Because the main army army's coming for them. And the other daughter marries the king of France. Talk about renown bonus. Okay. What's the uh, war table look like? I've got more troops than them. So at least I've got that. And I'm in the high medieval. Hot diggity damn. I'm going to want divine right. Because that's a lot of England I'm going to need to claim. And I don't think I'm going to be able to marry into them anymore with how unstable their secession is. There's no like designated... Basically there's no designated ruler anymore. So I'm going to have to conquer it. And who died? That made me stressed. My friend. Hey, but I got athletic. My favorite of the stress traits. So that'll help me live a little bit longer. And they got a fucking revolt. What's going on there, England? You know what? Lotharingia and Denmark aren't at war anymore. I'm calling in Lotharingia. Because you know what? I don't like how they're still technically winning. So uh, let's tip the balance in my favor, shall we? Plus they're sieging down my son's titles, and I don't want my sons to be killed. Even though I did sort of feed my oldest son to the wolves, you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> I did technically do that. Oh, and I have another, I have another grandson. This one gets the uh, Duchy of Cornwall. That'll be his spoil of war. Yeah, that's his inheritance. That's, that's going into my will. Ooh, he's zealous or calm. I want to say zealous. Mostly because it's a good trait all around. And it would give me less stress. But calm is good for a diplomacy character. I'm going to give him zealous just because I don't want the stress. And I like it. You know, martial bonus, piety bonus. The more the Pope likes you, the more money you get, basically. And I love money. And I have the f I have tuberculosis. Great. Okay. As long as I don't die. Just don't die. Alright, Lotharingia, where you at? You're taking the land route? How dumbass does that? That's right, scare off England. I swear if they go for my capital. And another friend dies. Fantastic. Love when that happens. Alright, come on. Let's go trap them. Finally, Lotharingia showing up. Or as Bruno Mars once said, if they show up, they're going to show out. Alright. We're finally turning this war into our favor. Lotharingia stopped dragging their heels. Which was kind of them. Of course, I still have tuberculosis, so... Hopefully that doesn't kill me. But who knows? At this point, anything could. Considering I'm still leading the troops... Oh, and I have another grandson. We'll see how that turns out. Oh, we got this shit. We got him on the run at this point. Oh? I can get a health boost. Oh, hell yes! God damn it, they sieged it back down. Alright, fucking England. Piss off. This is my Cornwall. Alright, let's siege this bitch down. Like, finally. Done! Cornwall is mine. Bada bing, bada boom. <sighs> <laughs> that was a uh, pain in the ass, wasn't it? Boom! Cornwall will be going to. Oh, he's sickly. He'll be going to my son's son. 
Because that'll prevent Gavelkind split up when I play as him. Because he'll already have a duchy. Isn't that nice? All of the Brythonic territory that was inside of modern-day England is mine. All that's left of the Brythonic territory that we still need to conquer is that one piece of Cumbrian territory inside of Scotland. Which, I believe my wife has a claim to. That she does. That'll be next episode, though. So, I've been Rizlov. Thank you for joining me for part three of the Brythonic Restoration. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please tell me what you'd like to see me do in this uh, series. If you want to see me expand Ireland, maybe push out the Scots. Of course, we're going to take over England. But do you want me to take over France as well? Maybe keep going after that. I don't know. Let me know. Maybe even convert to Insular. If you check out the description, you'll see my Twitch link to see me stream live after the summer break. You'll also find a link to the Discord where you can just talk to me, talk to this community. You can also vote on what games I do next, even vote on what series I do next. Once again, I've been Rizlov. Thank you for watching part three of the Pythonic Restoration. Peace out.